Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ interview questions and this is about use of friend function and classes in C++. So lots of people get confused like where to use friend function and let me tell you this is my opinion and I found some of the statement on internet especially on stack overflow and people are talking about this with their own experience. So there is no straightforward answer for this question. But you can convince someone by this okay so let's start so first of all we'll see a friend function we'll talk about the classes later so let me write a class here here you're having base class and let's suppose you're having one integer x and we got this constructor and let's assign some value here so x x okay so this is what it is you have this public here and you are creating b with value 10 and here is this function let's create that function void set or let's keep this as function okay and what you're doing is you're getting this base reference obj and inside obj you're having this x is equal to 20 okay so let me do this like c out obj dot x and deal first and c out obj dot x here so this is before and this is after changing so we all know that it is not allowed for this function to directly access dot x of this base because this dot x is a private member inside class and you cannot use this x outside this class okay so let's make this function as a friend function and you're done base ref okay so if you will compile this code everything is fine the only thing is we have not called this function yet so nothing is printed so let's give this b here and rerun this again c it is 10 and 20 so this is what this friend function does and some of the people get confused by saying that this is breaking the encapsulation rule in C++ but it is not breaking because this function is not telling that I am the friend of this class actually this class is telling that this guy is my friend so you are the owner of your class and you are defining that some function is your friend so there is no break of encapsulation right it's you who is telling not the other way so this was about how friend function i mean friend function work okay so let's look at where to use this feature of c plus plus and where comes this handy so let's suppose there is a class called employee employee and this is a class it has E name which is employee name e age and all that stuff okay so this is your employee class now there is another class let's call that class an admin so here is the thing you are an employee you are allowed to change the details about you whatever is there inside this class no one else can do this because if you are an employee you will be having login id and password like that you will log in and you will change your stuff okay like details in your company correct but what if admin wants to change something in your detail that admin should have the rights to change these right and until unless that admin got that username and password admin cannot change this but as this is admin, admin should have all the rights, right? So what we generally do, we make this admin class or if it is function, okay? We make this as a friend, okay? So by saying that this admin is my friend, now admin class has all the rights what this employee class has. Okay, there are a few other stuff like if this is the hierarchy of 
inheritance like a b c and d let's suppose you are here i mean this c class these are classes okay a b c d this c class is making some function let's suppose there is some function fun and this c class is making this one as the friend then this function has the rights only to access the stuff i mean the private protected and public member of c class only this function cannot access what is coming from b and a let's suppose this b is having some data member x or let's call that data member a small b and this one is having a small a integer a integer b this function will not have access to b and a if you want to remember this there is very good statement that if someone is your friend you are here and someone is your friend then that friend will be your friend not your daddy's friend or your mother's friend i know this relation is not daddy and mother relation but still if you want to remember that this is very good way to remember your friend is only your friend so your friend can come to your home and can access whatever is there inside your room not your daddy's room okay he can use whatever belongs to you okay not anyone else in your whole relationship okay so that's the way to remember this so yeah we were talking about this friend admin thing right so this is one of the way you can use a friend class or friend function okay if you are defining some class as your friend then that whole class has the rights to access your private and protected and public data but if you are creating some friend function that only that function particularly that function is having that right okay that's the only difference between function and class making as friend okay and the guy who created c++ business to strub if i pronounce correctly he said in one of his uh, blog or website that friend keyword is mainly used for giving the rights explicitly and i have seen so many people talking about that they are using this friend thing in testing let's suppose there is some class let me re just remove everything so let's suppose there is some class here let's call it base and there are whole bunch of data member data functions and everything is there this full class is ready now and you want to test this class okay so here is your int main function you started your program and let's suppose your program is ending here somewhere and this is maybe calling here and there are so many places and let's suppose here somewhere you want to check the status of this base class object and you don't have getters and setters for all the variables i mean data members of this class let's suppose this is integer x and you don't have the function which will give you the x like get x this function is not available inside this base class then how you will test this class so this is the way what you will do you will make some function here let's call that function you will grant this function by saying that okay friend function okay so this function will become the friend of this class now inside this function you can happily use obj.x and you can print this do whatever you want to do so can you see that you are not messing with this class and by messing means you are not including extra code what it doesn't require inside this base okay that extra thing you are doing outside your class few people say that for testing purpose they use this friend keyword okay so this is another good way to use this and for testing purpose let's suppose you are having so many test cases like suppose you are having so many functionalities here 
having so many data members and depending on situation you might be having some values and if the situation changes you might be having some different values so all those testing code can go here and you will make this one as a class and you will write different different functions and all those functions will have rights to get the private and protected and public member of this class and do whatever they want to do so if the test cases are bigger you will go for friend class got it and another use can be let's suppose you are having 10 to 15 or 20 or let's suppose 20 classes a b c d e and all that and you want one particular function or one particular uh, what to say intermediator which will be the intermediator among all these classes so it will become very simple if you will make this as a friend inside all these classes okay then this will become a super function which can access all the data members inside these classes so these situations can arise in programming there is ocean in programming world you cannot imagine what could be the requirement so there is no hard and fast rule that you have to use friend function or friend classes in such a way but these are the scenarios okay i hope you like the video don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed yet go for it it would help me a lot thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye